Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Game Cops Talk with Captain Will. I am your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Game Cops Talk with Captain Will so I can continue to bring in the gospel, the gospel of Game Cops every single day. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. We got to go today, y'all. We got a good one today, y'all. We are talking about, we are talking about Adele Tack. Adele Tack. Who is Adele Tack? You might ask. Adele Tack is currently ranked the 24th best player in the class of 2024, according to ESPN rankings. Adele Tack. All six foot five, six foot six of Adele Tack from South Grand Prairie High School in Texas. In good old Texas, the Lone Star State, uh, the if you're stationed ever at Fort Hood, the great state, Adele Tack is just what the doctor ordered for the South Carolina Gamecocks. She is the 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 the. If you if you're writing up a, a recipe, if you're writing up a recipe, you need some Adele Tack to to fulfill the recipe because. She announced her top four. She announced her top, top four tonight on social media. She announced her top four. And now being from Texas, you would think it would be, obviously, some Texas schools. Well, it wasn't none of them. It wasn't none of them. You talking about a North Carolina. You talking about a Louisville. You talking about a Georgia. But more specifically and more better, we talking about a University of South Carolina. Adele Tack named the University of South Carolina Gamecocks two-time national champion in her top four. Now, with her being six foot five, six foot six, in the class of 2024, and with us probably most likely being that we're gonna lose Camila Cardoza in the WNBA draft in the 2024 WNBA draft, it seems like the best plug-and-play situation for Miss Adele Tack to be a South Carolina Gamecock. It seems easy. It seems like it's the best thing going today. It seems like it's the best school for her. It seems like she would go and fill that need that Camila Cardoza will be leaving open. In the post, it seems like it's the best situation for Adele Tack. And it seems like it's the best situation for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Now, everything that seems so easy may not be so easy. It may not be so easy. Adele Tack is a dominant post player whom we desire, whom we need, whom we will uh, 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 gladly take in to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Now, her top four, North Carolina, they already have six foot five Blanca Thomas, who is a top 15 recruit, who is really nice who I saw in person, who was legit six foot five in the post. Do I foresee them doing a Twin Towers with Adele Tack? No, I do not see that. I do not see North Carolina get two six foot five, six foot six players to play the post. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that she will not go to Louisville. I don't think that's going to happen. Why do I feel that this is too easy? Why do I feel that this is too easy for the South Carolina Gamecocks? I think it's too easy. I think it's a. I think it's. I think we've been being fed this dish of a Dale Tack too easy. I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm. I'm. Because everything that looks good ain't always good. I don't want to get all hype about Adele Tack coming to, to, to the Gamecocks into the best position that she could slide in and get immediate playing time next year and then end up in some place like Georgia. 
Georgia good. Georgia's a good team. That's a good team. They in the SEC. They can play some ball. But they ain't South Carolina. Louisville a good team. But they ain't no South Carolina. I just I I I wanna say, I wanna say it with my heart. I wanna say it with my chest. I wanna say it with everything I believe that a Dale Tack is gonna say, I want to be a game cop. That's what I want to say. I was surprised about the list. I really was. I was surprised about the list. And y'all can say I was surprised about, you know, Texas teams. But I didn't see, like, the Blue Bloods. I didn't see no LSU. And the LSU just got Rosario, number seven, picking the uh, number seven recruit in the 2023 class, 20, six foot five or so. I didn't see no UConn. And I know UConn recruiting her. I saw the videos. It just makes me a little nervous. It just makes me a little nervous that this seems too easy because we haven't had the greatest of luck with getting Texas players. We had one. We had a top recruit back in the day. Don Staley's first highly rated recruit. But she left. She didn't stay long. Adele Tack and her, her rebounding, her, her 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 ability, her footwork, her 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 her, her, um, her hands, her ability. She has a, she, believe it or not, she has a nice jumper. She has a face up jumper. She can block shots, play defense. She's she's aggressive. She's all we would need in a post player to continue in the line of of, of Camila Cardoza. Uh, 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 I'm not saying she's gonna be a Leah Boston or a uh, Asia Wilson or uh, anything like that. But her, uh, 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 Camila Cardoza, a parallel. Adele Tech didn't start playing basketball until late in her junior high. Okay, so she's not like the the the, the kids who play basketball three, four, five, six years old. She not, she wasn't like that. But she's getting better every year. She get better every year. If she could have, at one, at, see, the rankings can be, can be tripping me out sometimes. At one point in time, she was ranked twelfth in the nation. She was ranked 12th in the nation. But then, around January time frame of this year, she had an undisclosed injury, and she didn't play the rest of the season. Okay? Next thing I know, she ranked number 22nd, 24. You know? I, sometimes, it just trips me out sometimes, you know? But going into the season, it, it, is it, is it, it's safe to say that Adele attack probably be uh, 20th, 18th, 17th in the country, depending on the growth that she's had during her senior year. Now, we already said that we're going to, Maddie is already here. Maddie, the point guard, is already here. I already believe in my heart that Joyce Edwards, no one player in the country, is going to be here. We're getting a player like Adele Tack, 24th in the country, center, 6'6", six six, to the Gamecocks. That, along with Joyce and Maddie, who I'm already claiming, we're going to lock up the number one recruiting class. We're going to lock it up. Lock it up. I said going into, for the 24 recruiting class, we need three players. We need three. Three positions. We need a point guard. Check. We need a, a, a post. Adele Tack will feel that in spades. And we need another big who happens to be the number one player in the country and we happen to reside in Camden, South Carolina. That's another check. As a luxury, as a luxury, that's what I'm saying, just a luxury, we could get another wing player as a luxury. Not saying it's a need. Not saying it's a, it's a, it, we ha it's a must get. But Adele Tack coming to the Gamecocks, along with I think Sakima Walker will be returning next year for that COVID year. Because I don't think she's going to the WNBA. I think she's going to have an okay year this year. And but then next year I think she will will, will flourish after being in the SEC and playing the Don system, Don Don Staley system one more year. Skim Walker, six foot five. 
And they attack six foot five, six foot six. Uh, can you foresee a twin tower situation in South Carolina having Sakima possibly start next year in the in 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 24 25 season? A Dale Tack coming off the bench, much like a hey, Camila Cardoza came off the bench last season, still getting about 15, 18, 20 points, 20 minutes a game. You have a, a, a Sanaya Fagan who was a senior, who I progressed is going to be great this year. You have a Bree Hall who will be a senior, who I progressed is going to be break, great that, uh, that in this upcoming season. That 24 25 class will have a, 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 a red shirt junior by the name of Raven Johnson, who will be sensational. A Malaysia Full Wiley. Oh, a Tessa Johnson. I, I, that 24 25 class. Oh, oh, did I, did I say about a, a Joyce Edwards? Did I say somebody? Oh, that 24 25 year would be unbelievable if all the. The stars lined up correctly. If all the stars lined up correctly. The 24-25 class. I'm saying right now. I know I'm getting off a little track. I'm a little bit because this is, this is about Adele, Adele Tack. But just stay with me. Stay with me, okay? If, if Bree Hall is who we think she's going to be this year. If Sanaya Fagan is who we think that she is this year if raven johnson made the jump that we think that she has this year and we move forward to the 24 25 class uh, season with raven brie sanaya sakima all Seniors or, or, or red shirt juniors all been in the program for four years. And then you throw in a a, a, a seasoned Malaysia full while in a seasoned Tessa Johnson and, and a grown up a Chloe Kitts and a grown up Ashlyn Watkins and, and, and a and a and a Joyce Edwards number one player in the country and a Adele Tack and a Maddie McDaniel coming off the uh, off the bench spelling. I might be getting too ahead of myself, but a 2024 South Carolina Gamecocks might be. I don't want. I don't even want to say nothing like that. I, I ain't want to say. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna put that in the atmosphere right now because we still gotta go through 2024 uh, class. We gotta go through this shit. We gotta go through this shit first, right? So I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But I see right here. I see greatness on the horizon. I see greatness on the horizon. And real talk, it starts with this class. It starts with the 2024 20, class for the greatness that I see over the next two, three years. Will there be a decline this year for the South Carolina Gamecocks? Will we win 42 games in a row? To answer to your question, no. We are not going to win 42 games in a row this year. This year. But in the rising, over the prairie, over the cow, over the dog, I see some heights that even this program of greatness has not achieved yet. I see it. Just stay with me. We had a number two recruiting class in the 2023 class. It's number two, number two ranked recruiting class, right behind LSU. 2024 recruiting class. If we get Maddie, we already got Maddie. We get Joyce, we get Adele, we get some, uh, if we don't get Adele, we get a Sarah Strong, we get a Koval, something like that, something along those lines. You're talking about the number one recruiting class for the 2024 class. I already told you I like that little point guard I saw in the uh, uh, Under Armour Elite. Cause I want a great point guard every single every single class every single one. Adele Tack. If this situation seems too easy, 
for Gamecock fans. I want to temper my expectation. I want to temper my, my excitement right now. Because it just seemed too easy. I'm going to let this marinate in my brain a little while longer. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to let it, let it, let it, let it, let, let me sleep on it. Because I'm a little too excited. And I don't want, I want to temper my expectations right now as a South Carolina game cop before I, I see something that maybe I'm not seeing, but it just seems too easy for her to be a game cop. I don't see any other way. Her not being a game cop. I think it was intentional on the social media to say her top four and list South Carolina is number one. I think it's intentional all the way. I think to see the playing time. I think to see the position. I think she sees Aaliyah Boston. I think she sees Aja Wilson. I think she just sees the opportunity to be great in the future. But I'm going to simmer down. I'm going to simmer down, I'm going to drink my sweet tea, and I'm going to eat my pig feet and relax and say. This concludes another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so I continue to bring you the gospel of Gamecocks every single day. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. Let's go. Did this